The Senate this Thursday adopted a 3% allocation to host communities in the Petroleum Industry Bill despite protests by Southern lawmakers at the National Assembly. The Southern lawmakers had demanded for 5% for host communities. The number in dispute is the percentage of their total operating expenses. Oil companies are expected to contribute to a trust fund created for host communities. Two Southern Senators, George Sekibo and Syriake Dixon, raised concerns over the approval. Senator Sekibo said he is not part of the vote on the allocation clause, and Senator Dixon said his privilege had been breached as his views were not accommodated. However, Senate President Ahmed Lawan replied that the Senate had taken a resolution on the matter and could not go back on its decision. The host community allocation was one of the clauses left in consideration after the National Assembly passed the PIB earlier this month. The PIB is expected to transform Nigeria's oil industry. The 3% allocation will come from an entity, uh, entity's actual yearly operating expenditure of the preceding financial year in the upstream, uh, midstream and downstream sectors. All contributions will be deposited in a trust fund for host communities. According to a draft of the PIB, the trust fund will enhance peace and cordial relationship between oil communities and hosts, uh, oil companies and host communities. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives stepped down the controversial Petroleum Industry Bill PIB after an hour-long closed-door session. Earlier in the day, lawmakers from the South-South had opposed the harmonized PIB allocation to host communities, which was pegged at 3%. The lawmakers were heard chanting 5% as against the 3% at the floor of the House. The House of Representatives has begun consideration of the report by its Committee on Electoral Matters on the Electoral Act 2010 Amendments Bill. The committee had laid the report earlier on Wednesday. The chairman of the committee, Aisha Duku, noted that apart from the proposed amendment to the act, the panel also discovered some errors in the existing law which had been corrected. Listen to this truth. We are growing by the day and our viewership keeps growing on our different platforms. We are inviting you to advertise your goods and services with us at incredibly low rates. And do you have news for us? Script or video, please contact us through our email address, clairviewnewsroom at gmail.com or WhatsApp line 080-650-30300. Again, 080-650-30300. Welcome on board. No doubt the countdown to the 2023 general elections has started and various interest groups and individuals are already putting together different programs to sensitize the people. In a certain cases, such programs can be geared towards propaganda, either to sell political parties or politicians who are in dire need of votes from the electorates. We have a report. As its own contribution to herald the vibrant nature politicking has assumed in Nigeria, the Security and Forensic Studies Nigeria addressed a press conference through its Director General, Dr. Okocha Morgan. The press briefing is centered on uh, the forthcoming of our uh, mid-year induction ceremony, international conference. We have been able to put up our invitation to all prominent Nigerians and people that are concerned with electoral processes. The grassroots have been mobilized from the state and we have put up a social media platform, advertisement, writing of letter, invitation, and all that we already prepared. We have put all machineries to make sure that we have a free, free flow of this ceremony. Apart from being actively involved in politics, we hear the body is also preparing for an induction ceremony. We have notified international uh, societies. We have written a letter to their embassy to send their delegate for the meeting. So it is not an, it's not a local conference, it's an international summit that 
touches all this country, all the states, ECOWAS, United States and uh, Nation, um, uh, European uh, countries, all are coming to the program to witness the process of using forensic tools to uh, avoid any kind of uh, electoral pro uh, fraud, fraud in Nigeria. What is the theme of the conference and how prepared as a chartered forensic institute is the Security and Forensic Studies Nigeria, more so as the National Assembly has the amendment of the electoral bill before it? The theme of the program is using forensic tool kit as panacea to electoral fraud in Nigeria generally in Africa. Currently, the bill in National Assembly is applying for amendment of an electoral act. An electoral bill is currently going on. So the forensic tools usage has been added into the amendment of the bill. So we believe that by the time the bill skate through, the use of forensic tools will be needful. Security and Forensic Studies Nigeria offers professional forensic expert training and monitoring, provision of security services, and profiling for embassy organizations and agencies. Thanks for watching. I am Nkiru Obuli.